How to Lead with a Growth Mindset If you're a leader of a team or business, you know how important it is for you to show the team under you a growth mindset. This means you show them, by example, how they can accomplish things they put their mind to as long as they're willing to put in the work and learn new things. In this tutorial, I will show you how to lead with a growth mindset so that your team can also have a growth mindset. Remember that the best way to lead is by example. The first thing I recommend doing is embracing new things and encouraging your team to do the same. When new things pop up in life or the workplace, it can be difficult to quickly embrace the new things, but embracing them is the best way to work on your growth mindset. You can start small and then work up toward the big changes. Another key to becoming a great leader with a growth mindset is to take time for reflection. This means taking the time you need to reflect on your performance. Some of the key areas you need to reflect on as a leader include communication skills, problem-solving strategies, and how you form relationships with others. A big part of reflecting is holding yourself accountable for your actions and seeing how you can develop different methods for your team to be able to develop their strengths and ways they can advance and develop. It's best to reflect in the evening once the day is over, as this gives you time to think about all the things that happened during the day. You can then journal as you reflect, as this helps you to look back and see how far you've come. One of the best tips I can give you for leading with a growth mindset is to let yourself be part of the process rather than just always looking toward the end goal. This also includes ditching the need to be perfect all the time. Rather than wanting to be perfect all the time, a leader with a growth mindset focuses more on the process and all the things they can learn during the process. A growth mindset also focuses on embracing mistakes as this is part of the learning process. As a leader, you'll be in charge of setting goals for yourself and your team. The best goals are SMART. You might have heard of this acronym before as it's a common way for goal setting. It ensures that your goals are realistic and that they are attainable. If you set goals that are too far out of reach, you'll only find yourself very discouraged when you're not able to meet them, which can also prevent you from setting goals for the future. Part of having a growth mindset is figuring out the beliefs that you have that hold you back from your dreams. There are many questions you need to ask yourself on your way to developing a growth mindset. Do you believe that you cannot succeed because of your current circumstances or situation? How does your inner dialogue speak to you? Are there some options for your business that you've not explored? Why have you chosen not to explore them? What will it take for you to get past your limitations and realize that there are things within your control that you can change? I hope this tutorial gave you some insight into how to be a leader with a growth mindset. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.